Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Connoisseur's Conversation. Today, this is the video, or should I say good evening? This is the video that I promised you to be the second coming of my summer rotation for this year of 2023. I'm going to present to you guys a Connoisseur's Conversation based on a list of six fragrances that I love pulling out right now for summer evenings. This is a different type of fragrance for me, a different type of blending, a different type of compositions I enjoy wearing. When the sun goes down, the moon is out, the evening is set for a little bit of out, you know, stepping out, more of a tailored look to you, more of a different crowd that's out and about, and more of a different feel of elegance, but also slightly playful as well. These are scents, like I said, go off great in summer evenings. So if this sounds like something you enjoy, hit the subscribe button, pull up a seat, pour a glass, and of course, Let's enhance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the dry down. This is the channel where we aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactive sensory experiences through the understanding of the different aromas, faucets, and nuances of scent cigars and wine. I'm your host, Chris. Welcome to today's experience. Today, like I stated, we're going to get into one of those lists that I love to compile for you guys, but then it's also a list that I love to put together for myself when I'm thinking about all the fragrances that I have in my collection and how I want to put them out and how I want to put myself forward in different occasions. And for me, this list is built on great fragrances for summer evenings. And I'm telling you, I got some bangers here for you gentlemen. First off, we're gonna start off with the perennial, one of the most highly rated fragrances on any blog post, any database you're gonna find. This is the House of Zerzhov Shooting Stars Uden. One of those scents that I swear has been in my collection and will stay in my collection and it's one of the sexiest damn fragrances as stated by many. You cannot go wrong with this particular fragrance. This is a fresh accorded scent that is built off of citrus accords, a very, very sexy sweetness, a woodiness and a creaminess profile that comes open with the liveliness of lemon and grapefruit. You then have a heart transitioning of sandalwood, guyac wood, rum, and a sweet rose. That is the most attractive part of this scent but it also once that hard accord comes into play it attaches itself to a base accord of coffee and vanilla this thing becomes one of the most sensual sexual fragrances i've recommended this fragrance to so many people and all i've got is thank yous i've never had anyone that i particularly told that this fragrance is one to get it captures every essence that you want to put on a summer fragrance for especially evenings or dates and I've always had people get back to me and say, yo, Chris, thank you for putting me onto that scent. I'm on my second bottle already. That's how good this particular scent is. This profile is one that is so, so seductive, so, so sweet, so sexy, and so alluring for a summer evening. You cannot go wrong with this. The House of Zerzhov, and this one has been out for so long that it never, it had its shine when it first came out. Of course, it was a new scent. And the way that these fragrances keep dropping, five fragrances, 10 fragrances, 15 fragrances per week. This one here is one that if it dropped today, it would be on everyone's list of a great, great fragrance to put into your rotation. The House of Zerzhov, Suit and Stars, Uden. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is one of my favorite, favorite style of scent profiles for summer evenings. This is one that is not typically fresh, not typically, you know. the seasonality of this one is a four season scent, but it comes off very, very well and durable for a summer evening that has a great component of woody, citrus, spiciness that you will love to have and lingers with a great scent bubble, great performance, great crowd pleasing scent. This is a scent that is, if you've heard anything about it, this is Electimus Austere. And this particular scent is a profile that is built off one of the most sought after scents in Fragcom, in luxury fragrances that you have seen today, and that is Blue Sapphire. Now, what I will say is this, this is not a dupe fragrance. This is not 100% 
how blue sapphire smells i have blue sapphire i have asqs um, blend they all have similar components with smell similar they all go different faucets and different fashions in the way the pitches of the scents go off differently but i will say this if you are a person that is looking for blue sapphire wants that particular sit in your rotation and want something as close as you can get for a great price that comes off in its own way just as sexy as hell that is electimus austere this is woody, citrusy, spicy, fresh and green. Great scent for summer evenings. I pulled this out the other night, which was Thursday evening, and got three compliments off this particular scent. One gentleman and two females. The gentleman asked what I was wearing when I went past to grab a cigar out of the human door. And two women were at the bar with me, sitting, having a conversation. And they were like, damn, you smell good as hell. That is Electimus Austere. It has a lemon, like a Calibrian lemon opening with a nice star and these spice. The heart is built off what will come to women's attachment and nose, which is a geranium and clover cord. Spicy, sweet, rosy almost, but that floral nuance that is very ethereal and attaching and beautiful. The base comes in with a very, very nice, I can't tell you if it's authentic or not, but it smells very well blended, very well done, and high quality if it is an inauthentic ambergris. But there's an ambergris in the scent that very much so goes to that lemon, which gives you the feel of blue sapphire. It also has a patchouli, musk, and sandalwood accord in the base that gives it its woodiness. So all in all, you get a woody, citrus, spicy fragrance that goes off captivating for summer evenings. Fantastic scent. That is Electimus Austere. The second choice for the summer evening scents in this connoisseur's conversation. So next up, ladies and gentlemen, what I have for you guys next as the number three scent on my summer evenings. This is a scent that I put last year and got so many questions on in one of my lists, which was the actual scent that I used to travel with. This is a scent that I stated can go from Colorado Springs to Cabo St. Luca, and I still stand by that in this particular scent. This is a scent that has a nice, what makes this scent a nice scent for summer evening is one, it's a familiar scent, but not one that you smell very often any longer. It's familiar because it has nice touches of oak moss, lily of the valley, cedarwood, coriander, cardamom, and that ambroxan and rose. It's familiar because it comes off, as many have stated, as Amber Crombie and Fitch's first, uh, I think it was fierce. I never smelled it like I stated in that particular video. I made this one, um, one of my favorites. But to me, what this particular scent does, it goes on very, very fresh. It has an astringent juniper berry that I don't see mentioned in it, but it has a juniper berry that I smell very, very, very prominently in this scent. Goes off masculine, appealing, very, very attractive and alluring. And like I said, the scent of this, it's one of those high rated scents by Sidoni Lance of Sword that she put together. All the components of a luxury scent that can be worn summer evenings because of the cardamom spice which makes it spicy, slightly fresh from the abroxin and the coriander. That coriander brings a nice whiff of freshness from a broken, like a, a crushed coriander leaf, not the pepper, but the leaf of coriander. The lily of the valley always goes off well in summer fragrances. It gives you a fresh componentry that you want to have. It's slightly aquatic, slightly metallic too. Very, very nicely done scent. It dries down well with the actual notes of cardamom, Ambroxan, rose, sandalwood, and that lily of the valley, which keeps the peak. And like I said, I made this scent go off in the list last year as one that I take for my travels because it's so ubiquitous in the way you can use it from the days, evenings, parties, lounging at the beach. It's a go-to scent. It's a dumb reach that smells great. You're going to get compliments. You're going to know you smell well. You will, excuse me, you will stand out because you're wearing a fragrance that smells of high quality. It does not smell like shower gel cheapness or anything like that. It smells like a very well-tailored gentleman fragrance. Great nose catcher. That is Killian's Vodka on the Rocks done by Sidoni Lancesaur for the list of summer evening bangers for summer of 2023. Love it. So ladies and gentlemen, as we embark down to the last and final three of this particular list, I start to get into some of my fragrances that I love and I've had great success with in summer evenings and fall and autumn evenings. Um, 
one which is one of my favorite Ormond James scents, and this is Mon Tobacco Intensivo. This scent, I don't know, maybe one day people will begin to listen, and you'll hear, oh, y'all, did y'all watch the dry down? He put a scent on there, <laughs> and that shit was banging. Because right now, Mon Tobacco Intensivo, Ormond James, I think, is a house that many have not gravitated toward because you don't hear it that much. You hear it in Fradcom, I, I'm certain. Um, I've seen it in YouTube videos just like each and every one of you watching this one. But for me, Ormond Jane makes some of the great classical men's fragrances that are staples in my collection. And I tend to, almost in every video, if not uh, one or two videos every other month, I'm putting a Ormond Jane scent on a list to get you guys to know that these are fantastic blended fragrances. And this one done by Geza Shorn. Mon Tobacco Intensivo is a heat maker. It goes off. It has accords of spiciness, woodiness, freshness, synthetic accords that are just slightly. They're in Giza Shawn's wheelhouse. If you look up Giza Shawn, you'll know he's the ISO E super guy. He makes all the fragrances um, for Molecule fragrance brand. That's him. That's what he does. But he uses such a high quality synthetics of Ice Wee Super in this particular scent with also real built, nicely blended, high quality oils. And this one here, to get it off, you have a cardamom accord, a very, very fresh and sexy clary sage and juniper berry opening with bergamot and orange essence. It then goes into a heart with Hedion, Hedion, man. If you heard anything about Hedion, Hedion is one of those scents that turns into a sex magnet. It is one that they say it was made to mimic a man's... Some, let me not get that wrong. Let me not tell you something that I can't recall. I just know that Hedion was made to mimic something in a man's essence that was given off as a sexual signature for women. So that sexual signature and signal towards women is in this scent and is in this scent heavy. Hedwin mid just comes off so, so sensual and sexy. And I've had so many compliments on this. I'm telling y'all, I ain't even playing with y'all. This, this is anyone's secret weapon. I'm talking about fire, man. Hedwin, Magnolia, a T accord is in this one. Slightly bitter, slightly sweet, slightly fresh, very woody, spicy, green, sweet from Tonka beans, sweet from tobacco. The tobacco in the base of this is one of those scents that just comes off like a tobacco flower, not so much like the tobacco smoke. Uplifting, lively, airy, sexual. This is one of those fantastic scents, man. It's bringing back memories, too. That's why I'm sniffing the hell out of it. The memories on this one just fantastic, man. My tobacco intensive go by the house of Ormond Jane. Get your nose on this one. Trust me, you'll go to enjoy it. Wow, man. Great scent. Next up, guys, what we have here for you as scent number five in this six scent list of fragrances I'm going to be wearing this summer evening is a fragrance done by Quentin Birch by um, the perfume house that, to me, I, I'm i very much so. I'm on the, the fence about this particular scent because so many people have told me about the other scent that he made, which is Ganymede. To me, in my opinion, this is a much better scent. Boyce Imperio is a much, much better scent with a better scent profile than Ganymede. I can't get over. I actually got Ganymede. I did like it, but I didn't love it. I didn't see what other were seeing in it. And that's the thing about fragrances. You don't have to latch on to everybody's opinion. I love that about this. If you got a good opinion or a good reviewer that gives you sense, you don't have to like every damn scent they say. It's some of them, your nose is different, your area is different, your surroundings, your likes are different. And for me, Ganymede didn't do it. But Boyce Imperial, this shit slap. It's one of those sexy fragrances. Again, another one of the scents that I've recommended to people, have shown, showcased, and had them purchase it, and they came back to me. Man, I got so many compliments. It was fire, it was smelling good. I smelled good, it lasted long. I didn't have to worry about reach brand. I didn't have to do this. It smelled good as hell. And to me, that's what Boyce Imperial does. Essential Parfums, Quentin Birch made them a great fragrance that I would recommend highly over Ganymede. Ambroxan, Aki Gollywood. The Aki Gollywood, like I told y'all before, 
Aki Gali wood is going to be one of those synthetic compound woods that's going to be flying off of the shelves when it comes to fall based fragrances in 2023 and late 2024. You're going to see Aki Gali wood in a whole lot of fragrances because that woody component is one of the most beautiful woody components that I've smelled in raw form that's going to be very, very sought after in fragrances. This has basil, grapefruit, a nice hit of Haitian vetiver. Um, Szechuan pepper to make it nice and spicy. Indonesian patchouli makes it sweet, warm, and inviting. And of course, that Ambroxan fix. Nice, nice touch of a fragrance. I enjoy this greatly. I don't, I don't need to even speak anymore about it. This is a great scent for summer evenings to put anybody in, attached to you, make you very, very pleasant to be around, very, very attractive to be around. And if you have a good personality, you will pull numbers with this particular scent. Essential Parfums, Voice Imperial. Perfume by Quentin Birch. Lovely scent. Love it. And so, last but not least, on this list, all heat makers, all beautiful scents that I can't wait to pull out this particular summer. I'm going to be one of the best smelling guys of the country. <laughs> no lie. To me, so I'm in love with this particular scent. I did a video on this comparing the two, the EDP and the perfume version, the perfume extract, which this is. I'm a very big fan of the House of Kirk John. I'm a very big fan of the scent Amaris. This one here, for me, is another one of those scents that I'm going to pull out sparingly. I've gone through a lot of this juice, as you can see. Um, this Parfum X-Ray is one of the best sleeper fragrances that I've come across in a long time. And when I say sleeper, I mean you can spray the scent on and you can believe it's gone. It's one of those scents. I don't know how Mason Francis Kirk John pulls it off in his blending. Same as with Baccarat Rouge 540. You will think it's gone and then everybody in the room smell the damn thing. For me, Amorous Perfume Extra is one of the most harmoniously made, sweet, sexy, fresh, woody, spicy, and citrus-based fragrances that is particularly built for masculine skin. I don't think this goes well on women at all. I think this particular Mason Francis Kirk John um, scent is so, so well developed, so well composed, and so well blended. It opens up with this Caribbean Amiris flower, Sicilian Mandarin orange, Brazilian Tonka bean absolute, which is a freaking phenomenal sweet accord to this particular scent. It then has one of the most expensive cinnamon accords, which is the Ceylon cinnamon, which in this scent, which makes it its extra and its most expensiveness, is because of that sweet Ceylon cinnamon accord. I've heard that that thing can go for just per pound is one of the most expensive components for fragrances. And for me, it just comes off so, so, so sexy. You smell the cinnamon right off the back and it smells like raw grated cinnamon, not just a playful or sweet cinnamon aroma. It smells like someone just sat in your face and grated a, just a shitload of cinnamon, but it smells so good surrounded by those different nuances of, of uh, Florentine iris and vanilla accords and saffron spiciness. Very, very sexy fragrance for the evening. For me, if I want to project with this fragrance, I will do about four, four and a half sprays. It is extra, so it does not project loudly unless you do add a few sprays to yourself. But this is one of those scents that I told you here a few weeks back. What I'll do with this particular scent, I'll do one on each side of the neck, one on the stomach, and one on each wrist. But I'll also do a thing where I'll spray this particular scent in the palm of my hands, or if not the palm of my hands, the crux of my uh, pointer and my thumb. And when I go to shake hands with a particular female or anyone else that I want to have a uh, scent memory of or with or for them to hold on to, I will put this particular extra and they're going to be like, damn, I remember that. Damn, I remember that. Damn, I remember that. Who was that? Who was that? It is fire. It's straight fire. Amorous Poor Home. Great, great first impression scent. Great, great phenomenal sillage scent. Everyone can smell it. The whole room can smell it besides you. So don't get worried if you buy this and you can't smell it. Everyone else will be like, damn, you smell good as hell. Great scent. Like I said, fresh, sweet, woody, nice components of spiciness and through this throughout this scent with a nice that Caribbean amorous is the start of the show. So if you love amorous or if you smell amorous, it's one of those scents that you're gonna be in love with. Mason Francis Kirk John did a hit with this one. Can't go wrong. That is today for me and for you, my 
six fragrances for 2023 for summer evenings this is a scent profile based off the scents that i find nice woody and compelling to just go off very very seductively in the evening you have zirjoff Uden, electimos austere killian's uh vodka on the rocks Montebac Intensivo by Ormond Jane, Voice Imperio by, um, what's the name of the brand? Essential Parfums again. And then you have the Mason Francis Kirk John, slightly on the masterpiece cusp, Amherst Pour Home Extra. So as always guys, if this was something that you enjoy, if this was a list that you found anything educational and or entertaining about it, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me guys know what you guys are rocking for. Summer evening fragrances, the ones that come off super seductive and lowering while still staying fresh components to them. I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Let me know. Until that video, I'll see you. You guys have a blessed and beautiful, beautiful week. I hope you guys have everything planned out for yourself this week to go and knock those goals out and get everything you want of this life. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.